right, we live. Okay. What's going on, people? It's your boy, KDO, back in the Reconstruction Project with my guest in here today, Ghost. Hey, hey, hey. So today we're going to be discussing, uh, has modern society failed women? So we was actually having this conversation offline yesterday, and I thought it would be a pretty interesting conversation to have online. Yeah. So I don't even know what led to our discussion offline about this the other day, Alex. Uh, uh, ain't no telling. Uh, it, 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 we could have seen a tree going a certain way. You know how we do. <laughs> we go from topic to topic. But um, <clears throat> I know I was, I, I was, we were, me and my wife were discussing uh, about a particular case where um, a guy in Nigeria. Oh, uh, I yeah, yeah, yeah. Be careful about using certain words so my my channel don't get flagged and mess up the YouTube algorithm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so like, you. can't use our words. That that are an ape. You can't use those together. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Things like that. Um, <clears throat> can you hear me fine, Alex? I hear you fine. I got you. Okay. Well, anywho, we were discussing that because um, basically the guy, you know, ended up doing some inappropriate things to a young girl, and the girl had to be about 13, 14 years old. Anyway, they came and took him to jail, and he got out on bond or bail, whatever they have over there. I think they got on. He got on bail, and his bail was like, I want to say like three or four million an hour, which is not much. Um, when it's translated to U.S. dollars, probably about ten to fifteen thousand dollars. Um, so that led to us having a certain discussion about, uh, you know. Has modern society failed women? And, and personally, in my opinion, I think it's been an utter failure to women. And I think that the the um, the jacked up part about it is women don't even know to the level of which they've been failed. Um, so going back to the case of the guy in Nigeria, my wife and I was discussing, like the girl was young. She was like, I mean, she was young. Alex, she, she couldn't have been more than 13, 14 years old. And she wasn't dressed scandally clad or anything like that. Like she had on normal like Nigerian wear. Like, um, you know, in Nigeria, they don't really wear like tight, revealing pants when they're at a certain age. You get what I'm saying? When they get out and get on their own, even, even a lot, like when my wife is there, she don't really wear um, a lot of form-fitting clothes. Um, so the guy was nothing but a pervy. That's all it was. So that led to a discussion of her and I talking about that um, some of his uh, some of his supporters were saying that oh the girl brought it on herself she was walking around in skinny clad clothes and stuff like that which that wasn't the case with this particular girl um, but it led to a discussion between my wife and I and my wife was saying you know even. If she was, or even if a woman is, that doesn't give you the right to. And I think that's what me and you were discussing, Alex, yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. So let's just jump off in that. Me personally. Okay. Um, like I said before, society has definitely failed modern women. It's failed modern women because it's left modern women unprotected. It's given them so many liberties. Um that it is it's treating them as though they're men and they're not men and they can't move like men um, because they can't even protect or defend themselves as a man would defend himself. Like on average, unless this woman is like, <laughs> you know, 300 pounds and this dude's like 150 pounds, you know, if a woman tried to jump on a man, he can defend himself. He can, he can stop that from happening. But the average woman can't protect herself if a man decided to do the same thing. Let's just be honest. I agree. So when we start talking about, you know, that type of culture, you have to understand that when you normalize uh, 
skimpy wear, revealing wear. Uh, we live in a hypo, a hypersexual society. The only people that's going to suffer in the long run are going to be the women. What, what say you, Doja? I agree. I think, I think it's it's the way society is. It basically promotes like like for lack of thought culture or whatever. You listen to most of the songs that's out there. It's talking about you ain't you ain't trying to they ain't trying to promote no good aspects of like being a woman. I was talking about look this way, wear these clothes, do these things, think and carry yourself like this. Mm -hmm. None of it is like, like none of it is what you, you you would hope that you're, you're, if you have a daughter or a a young female relative or whatever is stuff that you would, you would tell your daughter to do and be proud of. And that's that's basically how how our society and culture is 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 going. It's like it's back in the day or whatever. I, I, like me and you are probably like the last generation to be raised by like morally grounded parents and stuff. Nowadays, everybody's children or er, er, everybody's young. They don't get the same upbringing and teaching and 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 old school mentality as we we did growing up. Mm-hmm. So it's like. A lot of the stuff that like we that's frowned upon back in when we were growing up is normal. Like you remember how like when we was in school or whatever, and like somebody got pregnant or whatever or whatnot, it wasn't like no no happy thing. Like oh, like, oh man, you 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 got a baby. Like they they got shows and stuff. Like you remember that show Teen Mom? Yeah, yeah. It's like it's glamorized, it's popularized. Like it's cool. It's like all right, you got a baby, you get all this stuff now and stuff, and like. It, it's shown in a different light, which I'm not saying is bad if you get pregnant. Everybody has mistake, makes mistakes. Everything's happened. But, like, it's such the norm, like the downfall of regular society pro- programming or whatever. That, like, that, that's cool and it's, it's normal. It happens so often that it's not a big deal anymore. And it's, you're not, it's not, for lack of a better word, shunned or, or, or looked down upon or seen as, like, ah, oh, you messed up. So it's supposed to be like that, or you weren't supposed to do that and stuff. It's just normal, and like that's 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 oh, the morals, the the mindset, and the thought process of most modern women is jacked up, and they don't think it's jacked up. They think it's supposed to be that way, mm-hmm. or it's supposed to be you're supposed to carry and act as, as this way, even though you are not what it is that you are carrying it on and acting like like. For 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 my personal experiences, I I teach uh, 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 an MMA class. So basically, I teach people when you start. I teach you how to box. I teach you how to move. I teach you how to block. I teach you when when as it progresses, you you basically become a well rounded fighter, and you you learn every facet of the fight game. I have women in that class, okay. Mm-hmm. So I do, and I, and, I, and and the women that are in my class, I say yes, it is great that you're in here and you are learning all this stuff, but. Don't let don't 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 fool yourself into thinking that just because you are learning to fight that you will be able to fight and overcome a man and stuff. So like even on your best day, this is unless unless you are really, really on it and you ain't making no mistakes and y'all are kind of like evenly matched or whatever. It's a stalling tactic. It's like you're, you're, you're not just going to like really beat beat up no man into submission unless he is like really, really ill-prepared or not working with a full deck or, or at his full function. You know what I'm saying? It's like, right. if, if you aren't, like, strong for a woman and you aren't beating, fighting, it, like, a small man or whatever or, or a weaker dude and stuff, it's, it's, not, it's more likely not going to go your way regardless of what you know unless you are, like, really, really on it. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. that's what I tell people. I was like, it's, 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 it's gone away from that. I think we've gone to a place to where, you know, um, we heavily objectify women. Like it's not even funny anymore, and it's 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 pushed through mainstream the objectification of women. So it's like, I mean, people just have to define that root word object. You know what I'm saying? So you're seeing a woman as an object, and when you see something as an object, it's hard to see it as having much value versus 
just a utilitarian value or a tool to be used mm -hmm. for your disposal when you don't need the tool anymore. And so, you know, this, this, like I was seeing something, they have this, um, they have this, um, these, these yoga pants out now, right? <clears throat> mm -hmm. You can't not, I, like, I don't give a care the size of the woman, the race of the woman. Every time I walk in Walmart, I see these women walking around with these yoga pants. And some women are more curvaceous than others. Some women, yeah. um, the body type is completely different from others. Yoga pants is designed for extreme flexibility. So it's designed for it to be form fitting. It, it, they basically spandex. That's basically pretty much what it is. Yeah. You know what I mean? And there's a reason why in the comic book, superheroes have spandex on. Because <laughs> yeah. you can always see the muscles protruding through the spandex. It's flexibility. You know, stretchability and all those other things, right? So, you got curvaceous women like Latino women. You have um, black women. You know, uh, you know, white. You got white women. They're curvaceous, right? So, they move the wrong way, man. You see all this stuff, bro. It is. It's, it's, you don't even yeah. got to move the wrong way. They can just be standing up. And you're, you're, it's it's form fitting for a reason. It's, it's right, like second skin. Right, and the thing about it is, it's like that's pushed and it's promoted, like. Yeah. You, you, you're is you, you're only naked because you got cover on. You're only not naked because you yeah. got cover on. But everything that needs to be highlighted is being highlighted. You get what I'm saying? And so, yeah, men are not gonna approach men, when men see you with these type of pants and stuff on. They're not approaching you because they're trying to get to know you to be oh your wifey material. They're approaching you because you're just you've just uh, turned on primal desire in him. So now he's right. seeing you as that object. Now, here's the thing about women. A lot of women don't understand that concept. Some of them do. I mean, a lot of them do, but a lot of them don't. Because some of them, they do it on purpose. Some of them do it on purpose. But there's a lot of women that just, they just be, honest to God, they be like, well, I just want to be comfortable, right? Like, I don't know one woman that doesn't sleep naked. Like, if they had their choice, they'd just be free. Um. It seems I like lost Pete Dozier there, but I'm keep talking because he come back in. But when you put an emphasis or when you overemphasize or highlight a woman's sexuality in a society that just heavily promotes sex, you only do it to serve the women the injustice. Like in the long run, it's going to cost them. It's not going to cost the men much. It's going to cost the women. So in my in my personal opinion, um, um, I see I lost you again, but yeah, um, sorry, in please. my in, in in my personal opinion, I think that when you just you put so much emphasis, like I was telling my wife, I said, um, yeah, it's true that men should have self discipline, but you got to understand how men are design are, are, are designed. Like I know dudes, Alex. That they don't care how they get the kitty cat as long as they get the kitty cat. They don't care what the yeah. kitty cat is attached to. They don't care nothing about it. They don't care if you're lucid. They don't care if you're sober. They don't care if you're conscious, unconscious. Uh -huh. I, you know, I've came across dudes like that, man. So, man, I got a little drink. That's like, to me, when I hear men say that, like, man, I put a little buddy in a system. You know, it's like, you basically yeah. what you're saying is you had to alter this woman's state of mind to, 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 to do what you want to do with her. And, and women don't understand yeah. that, although I'm going to be frank, I don't think most dudes are like that. There's a good percentage of dudes out there that's like that. They don't care. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of people don't, don't care. As long as they, they, everybody's out there to get what they want to get in right. some shape, form, or fashion. Like most dudes is like, if I got to keep giving you drinks, if I got to get you by yourself, if I got mm -hmm. to promise you the world or mm -hmm. whatever to get what I want, there's nothing wrong with that. Right. That's yeah. They 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 basically selling you they selling you a dream. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And and like social media hasn't done women a, a justice neither because women uh -huh. are they they basically promoting that same stuff. That's like like listen to like you you remember how you listen listen to the radio and certain songs and certain words and certain songs wouldn't be wouldn't be uh wouldn't play. Right. Like now they, they, they damn near cuss on the radio now they, they used to edit it and say a similar word that said the same thing but now they don't even they don't even do that nah, they they're don't. promoting 
a culture. Like it's, it's like they're 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 glamorizing and popularizing like bad tendencies or or or, or promisc- promiscuous women or or free. They call it they don't call it promiscuous because everybody thinks everybody knows what that means. That means bad. That means like right. you're basically selling they call yourself. It sexual, sexual freedom or sexual liberation. Yeah. Yeah, they say some stuff like that, but you've always had that. It's always been your choice, but right. you ain't got to be like throwing it out there for all to see to all to get. Right. So if I remember, like, it's, 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 you got to have tact about your stuff. Mm-hmm. It's like, I remember having a conversation with a, uh, with a young lady that used to be at my gym or whatever, and she seems to think just because I, I look a certain way, I carry myself a certain way, and people respond to me and stuff that I can do whatever I want and have whoever I want. And I was like, that may or may not be true and stuff, but that that's, that's here nor there. I don't, I don't have, just because I can do something does not mean I should do something. Right. And stuff. And this is, this is one of those cases. And it's like that because of my upbringing and because we, we all know somebody or seen a horror story of doing what you want just because you can has not gone and worked out in your way, in your favor. Right. There are people here that shouldn't be here. There are people in living in situations that could have, with a little bit of forethought and control, been different, and just from going in a different way or carrying yourself or not mm-hmm. putting yourself in that situation, could have been the outcome would have been totally different. Right. But now you are stuck living in the reality of this sexual freedom or this societal pushed upon culture that everybody thinks is a norm. Right and and not, not and, working out for you. And the 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 more devastating thing about that is they push all of these things that mean you no good as though they're good. Yeah. And yeah. then in the end, you're left you're left with nothing. But when you have people that come along that say, "Hey, don't do that," there's so much pushback. That's really why it's so much pushback oh, against, yeah. against <laughs> Kevin Samuels. Like you know, I talk for days about that. It's, it's ridiculous. Like if you, there's there like when you okay, women, women need things from men. They need certain things from men. I mean, because women are. Here's the truth. Here's the truth about. It. Let me speak frank. Women can't survive without men. All right, the human race mm-hmm. can't survive without women. Would we'll die off. So there's a there's yeah. an interdependency that we supposed to have towards one another. But when you take something like a woman's body, right? And you highlight a woman's body as the thing to highlight. What it's, what it tells young women is this is how I get ahead. I allow myself to be used up. What it tells men is, oh, this is the only thing that women are good for. Right? Yeah. And so basically it creates a dynamic between the man and the woman that is not it's not productive, right? Um, I tell women this regularly. God never designed a woman to go from man to man, all right? From a physical standpoint, she wasn't designed to go from man to man. From a mental standpoint and a spiritual standpoint, she was never designed to go from man to man. I never designed it that way because you ever, like, you ever seen somebody break up like a dude and a girl not work out, right? Uh-huh. And that dude, like within six months, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's like he's back to form, but this hey, woman is just left bitter. Than that sometimes, but she's yeah, <laughs> yeah. That is that, that is more that is more often the case than not. Like I don't even care who called the breakup. If the woman called the breakup, it's still gonna be the same effect. If the guy called the breakup, it's still gonna be the same effect. I know girls right now. Like I got a partner that got a woman that's still been waiting on him for years, right? And he knows she's a good woman. He just ain't ready to be with her yet. And she's gonna sit there and wait. Cause that's kind of that's how God designed women. They're not designed to go from man to man. Now, knowing that he put safeguards in there to protect women, right? That's why he said a man doesn't have a right to a woman's body until she's till he's married. Like you that was a you have to understand how pivotal. That is for the most high to say, in order for you to get access to her body, you must take on a lifelong commitment. Yeah. Like that is that is God telling you your body is valuable. For, for me, 
I'm gonna go with the, with the person that says, okay, because think think. Okay, I'm, I'm stopping on my words, but think about it like this right here. The world is is telling these women. Modern society is telling these women, be sexually free, not knowing that you you're. How do I say this? You, men are the casino, are the casino, and you basically are the player at the casino, and you ain't playing with house money. I'll always win. The house is always gonna win, right? Yeah. Sex is a man's game, so you can sleep with whoever you want to sleep with a thousand times over. At the end of the day, you're still going to lose, right? That's why we desire by by nature, our bodies are a testosterone factory, right? So every three or four days, especially if you have a healthy sex life, your body gonna be like, we need to get some, we need to get into something because uh, we need to dump some testosterone off, yeah. and to a point to where sometimes it can become overwhelming. You know, I'm not lying, Ray. That's why we start telling. No, I, 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 you know what I'm saying? Women are not like that. If you got a woman that has a hyper sex drive, there's something in her that's off, right? Yeah. Everything that I'm saying is about how men normally are, just on a regular basis. Excuse me, because we like to try to take the exception to the rule and make it the rule. No, it's an exception to the rule, right? So we, you were, you were saying something earlier about you see this girl in school, and you know how back in the days it was, it was frowned upon. Yeah, we matter of fact, that girl was like ostracized. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, like go, in our parents' days, she like went off for a summer and didn't come back. <laughs> so like she was like regular again. Now I'm like, friends, like, like, like you're just, I know. Nah, you're getting a little big, and then it's like, oh man, you just you go live in the back room in, at grandma's house until you had your baby, and then you come back, and nobody nobody talks about the fact that you was pregnant over right. the summer and stuff, or right. someone just quiet. Some, some, your your uncle, your aunt and uncle who didn't have no kids now got a kid, or something like that happened, and right. whatnot. And nobody talks about it. Right, that's a normal thing now. Right, it, it's it's normal, and the thing about it is, women don't. Women don't understand that it lowers her value and it lowers her chances to get selected by a. I mean, you gonna always find dudes that are, that are marrying women, period. Especially in this society, because men have been trained to just take on women, but with multiple kids. But a, a, a well-meaning, well-intended, a dude that's going on a, on a, on a, a, a true path of building, he ain't gonna select you. It's not logical. It doesn't make financial sense for him to select you. Do you get what I'm saying? Well, it is. That's just another one of the things that society pushes on dudes to do. Mm -hmm. uh, it's okay if she got some kids and stuff. Everybody got kids. It's normal. Like people look at me crazy. Like I got something wrong with me because I ain't got no children. And, but, so you like, know, no, but you know, I did this on purpose. But you know, fifty-one percent of black men don't have children. And that's the crazy thing, but that's not yeah. the talking point. So you got half of all no. black men that don't have kids, but that's not the talking point. You know what I'm saying? The so society would have you believe that everybody's got children, and it's just this is normal, it's acceptable, it's okay. Well, and that's the crazy the, the crazy thing about it, Dojan, is at at your age that you're at, you're coming into the place to where you should be getting ready to take a wife, or but I would say between 34. And now at your age, like that window is when you, sh when a man is, is ready to say, okay, let me take a wife because he's acquired enough resources to provide for her. That's the other thing that I feel like the, you know, society has set women up for failure on. It has women telling her to take on a more masculine role, which pulls her out of her femininity. You get what I'm saying? Women should not ever be the sole or a primary provider for her, for a home. That's not her role. And any time that she gets put into that space, she's going to start becoming less woman-like and more masculine, more male-like, right? Which is never good because you still got all these emotions as a female, but you got the hardness and, and roughness of a male. And nobody want to come home to anything. No dude is ever going to want to go lay his head on a hard rock. We're going to lay your head on a soft pillow. You know what I'm saying? So it's it, it's, mm -hmm. it's telling it's telling women to hey be more a man like like feminism set women up for failure. All of these waves yeah. of feminism set women up for failure. Now let me just say this because people ask me, you know, do I feel like a woman shouldn't work? I'm like, well, a woman working is biblical, but let's talk let's talk about the type of work that she did. Okay, 
she didn't do nothing that required her to come out of her femininity. She didn't do hard, intensive labor stuff that's going to make her body start producing more testosterone. She didn't do that. What she did was things that was in support of the house that she still could be elegant and feminine on, right? So, but uh -huh. let's just say you have Alice and you have John and Alice and John are going for the same computer job. John is nowhere near as skilled as Alice, as, as Alice is. Alice is a beast with it. She knows her stuff. She's on it. In my opinion, Alice should get the job, but she should get paid the same thing that John would get paid. That's a no brainer. You should get paid based on an accordance with, you know, your, uh, what's the word? Your experience and your time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Your qualifications, that, that, that's it. If you meet the qualifications, it don't matter what sex, it doesn't matter, um, what race you just meet the qualifications. So a woman should be compensated just like a man should be compensated for her skill set for her abilities because obviously you don't have nobody else can do it so why would you put a woman in that situation and then pay her less that's wrong but there are certain things a, a in certain job fields that in my opinion a woman has no place in right she has no place there because it takes her out of her god-given role period and women are saying well, I can't. go ahead I'll just to add to that, and in certain roles, a woman doing it, it, it puts other people at a deficit. And it's like, like, uh, like what happened when when all the people that are uh, when women are basically in combat situations, right, or whatever, right, because right, because they're a woman and stuff. All these little special considerations are put out there, and you put the other people at risk because as a woman, there are just certain things that you cannot do, you right. should not be able, to, shouldn't be in the position to do. Period. Regardless if you can do them or not. And physically, you're not able to do them. Yeah. You don't have the same bone structure. But here's the other thing, too, Dojin. Na it's natural for men to want to protect women. Exactly. It's just natural. So if, you, if you're in a detrimental situation, you know what I'm saying? Not saying it because, you know, being in a combat situation, you're never going to leave anybody behind. But yeah. it's going to make you more apt to want to go save that woman. Yeah. It's like it's dire. It's almost expected, okay... Uh, John is over here in, in a combat situation. John's gonna have to hold on so I can get to him. That's how you're gonna think. Yeah. So you find your way exactly. to John's gonna have to have to make a way because I gotta right. go rescue Sally. Right. So Sally's over there. It doesn't matter if it's tanks, uh, F-16 bombers, oh. snipers. You know they can <laughs> they can have the Hulk and Thor over there on the front lines. You like I gotta go get Sally. Compromising <laughs> the entire mission. Mm -hmm. And it's like. You 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 can't even really have honest dialogue like this anymore because it seems sexist and it's not. It's just about keeping things in the in the in the proper roles and keeping it in the proper context to protect all parties involved, men and women alike. And yeah. there was a situation to where there was a guy, I'm not gonna call his name, but you know about the situation to where he came to my house and I thought we would get ready to have a discussion, but he came here on some other stuff. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And so when I realized he was on some other stuff, I was like, oh, I didn't know we were doing it like that, homeboy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it was like, all right, let's get on some other stuff. Like, you came to my my humble abode like you, you're you about to do something. We're going to have to do it. You know, you don't come to my house with that type of energy. You know what I'm saying? So, and, and, and I actually ended, ended up speaking with my wife about this later. You know what I'm saying? When she steps outside, because my wife, she heard me amping up. She was fine until I amped up. She heard me amped up. So when she comes out there, immediately, my attention went away from here to protecting my wife. And I don't think people really realize, like, that put me in even worse danger. You know what I'm saying? It put me now, and he knew it. The guy knew it, too. He knew it. So he knew now. The chances are me trying to, you know, defend myself. My focus ain't going to be on that. My focus ain't even going to be on the aggressor. My Being the aggressor, my focus is going to be on defending my wife and making sure she's not hurt. That's going to be my focus. So it's just natural in us as men to want to protect women. Right? So there are certain situations yep. that women ought not be in. I was listening to this girl the other day. And, man, she was dropping some jewels. And she was talking about how to protect your man. And she was talking about protecting your man by not wearing certain things. 
Um, because she's like, if you wear certain things, it's gonna attract certain attention. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So now, yo, if if you would just cover up, your husband wouldn't be have to be out here almost getting in fights because dude think you, you got your cakes and whatnot. So dudes think you you know you on the market because surely the only yeah. reason why you're dressing like this is because you're available. Mm-hmm. So now your husband in a situation to where he got the he, he got the squab up on somebody because you got your cakes hanging all out the back of your of your shirt. You know what I'm saying? It's it's yeah. crazy. Go ahead, Doja. All right, I had a conversation about this very same thing and stuff. And it's just like it's just a cultural thing. Like it's different. Like a, my friend is is, is uh, Hispanic, so they think that little that little attitude or 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 or, or feistiness or whatever. It's it's in different cultures, it's viewed a certain way. Mm-hmm. Hispanic women like the feisty, the, the that is it, it, that Latin flavor or whatever. Same situation. Like her, uh, she, she's like she, she what they was gonna go somewhere. Her and her little boyfriend or whatever they was gonna go somewhere. And the guy was like, uh, "You gotta change. You can't, you can't wear that where I'm going." And she, she, it went completely over her head. She thought it was, "Ah, you just trying to control me. I want to be comfortable. I want to be free. I want to do this, 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 that, and stuff." So they didn't end up going anywhere. And she thought. That like that was just him trying to like be chauvinistic and be in control, and I was like, no, boo boo, that's that's not at all what it is. Like that's that's what what, what might be what you thought at the time, but let's say you went somewhere and you got into a situation that was brought on only because of what you was wearing and how you were carrying yourself, or because mm-hmm. of how you were viewed by other people. Because let's let's face it, not everybody got tact, not everybody got manners, not everybody, uh, not everybody's inhibitions. Are 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 deep buried within some of the stuff. Some of the stuff that they think comes right out is on their sleeves. You know, is on is right there and stuff. And now you are placed in a situation that he has to do some stuff to defend your honor, which by the way you are dressed and carrying yourself shows that you have none. Mm. Like, how do you feel about that? And she's like, I didn't see it that way. It's like, of course you didn't see it that way because you just thought that you was just being controlled and told what to do because you're a woman. And that's how no one, no one has sat down and explained this to you. Now, like you're like, you're damn near 50 and a, a younger dude is telling you this stuff and it's a light bulb and you see the course of your life could have been irrevocably changed all because you didn't want to heed what was being said to you because you thought it was something else and no one maybe no one took the time to explain this to you. And it's like, just think of all the situations that, you, you, that, you, that you've been in that you've brought upon yourself because of the way you dress or mm-hmm. because of what you mm-hmm. said or because of where you were. And it's like stuff happens to people that are in the right. And it's like, so just imagine how much happens to people that like bring this unwanted attention to themselves. Right. Right. And it's just it's 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 funny, and like, and certain people will say like, oh, that's just you being chauvinistic or an ideal perfect world. That's not a problem, but we don't live in an ideal perfect world. We live in the world of what's going on. It's the world of the real, like Matrix says. This is what it is. This is the situation. This is what's what's going on. So like, you can you can even do like little experiments with yourself. And like, I know sometimes when I go to stores, I dress a certain way. And stuff like I could be, I'll be coming from work, and I'll go, I'll go to a hardware store, and because I do outdoor construction type work, people come up to me asking me questions, thinking I work there. But like, oh, I don't work here. I'm just, I'm, I'm looking just like you. He's like, oh, mm-hmm. I thought you worked here because of what you was wearing. Mm-hmm. That same situation mm-hmm. happens with women. People treat you a certain way based on how you look and how you carry yourself. So if you put together, let's say, like. I had a friend, different friend. I, I've, I've, I've had many of friends. I've lived around the world. I know I had all these little situations. Well, yeah, it would seem so. One friend, <laughs> <laughs> one friend was getting mad because they would go out. She would go out with her friend, and she would look a certain way, and her friend would look a certain way, and everybody would approach her friend and not her. She would get like oh. the leftovers. Like everybody is like everybody's talking to her. I see you over here. Nobody's talking to you. Let me talk to you in the hopes that they'll lose interest and I'll get my shot at the other one. But in the meantime, I'll talk to you type stuff. Mm. And she didn't ever know why. And I was like, that's because your friend looks like she's, she's for, for, <laughs> what they call it. She's for the street. So like, mm. that's a sure thing mm. over here. You kind of carry yourself and act a little different. So it's like, nah, I ain't, I ain't going, I, I, I might as well take my chances with, with 
leftovers from her because I don't think this door is shut to me, all because of what you're wearing and how you are you carrying yourself. Right. right. People don't get it, or a lot of women don't get it, or a lot of well, men well, see and the, recognize the, the, that and go for that thing. But the thing too, also, is that you have to understand as a miseducation of masculine nature. So there are certain things that just masculine or, or men like to do that they say is toxic. That's that whole toxic max masculinity bull crap. Um, mm -hmm. There's there's just certain things that like as a as a man, I just know, you know, you 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 ought not to do to other men. You know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah. If, if let's just say you you walking in the store and you see you notice like a, a, a man is with his wife and the wife is bad. Let's just say she's she's bad. I don't give a care if she got on something scantily, yeah. scantily clad or anything. Let's just say she's bad. You know you might take a peek, but you better not stare because staring yeah. Yeah, may don't, cause... don't, don't get caught staring. And <laughs> yeah. Right, staring may cause for <laughs> to be a showdown at the OK Corral. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But there's a there. It, it, one reason, one way that women have been failed is because women have been miseducated on what masculine nature is. And so going back to what you were saying about your friend telling, because I my wife, my wife don't dress inappropriate. Just be frank, you know, the culture that she was raised, the, her wearing tight jeans, you know what I'm saying, is is it's it's uh how do I say this? Is her wearing tight jeans, Alex, is like borderline boundary. <laughs> you get what, you get what I'm saying? Like, so she don't mm -hmm. Dress a certain. And I bet type they of don't way. even be like forms, but they just be like not loose baggy pants. Nah, sometimes she have to uh, fight to get in them suckers. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's that's just everyone oh. fight to get them unless you're a big yeah, pole. Fight. But okay, <laughs> yeah, they fight uh, to get in them. Like one day I came here, found a roll yeah, around on the man. ground trying to get out of them. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. But any anywho, yeah. she doesn't wear like it's anything like you could be considered scandalously clad or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I remember there was something that she had put on and I was just like, and I kind of looked at her and I said something like, I might've said something like, it wasn't something like you need to take that off. It wasn't something like that. It was just something that hinting that, okay, that's a little revealing or like not revealing because she don't show skin, but like form fitting. You get what I'm saying? Um, yeah. And she went and changed. But I remember when we was in Africa, we were at a bank. I just, matter of fact, I just spoke to her about this the other day. She had on a shirt, Alex. The shirt was perfectly fine, but it was showing collarbone, <laughs> collarbone. Those. Uh, I'm not talking about cleavage. None of the none of the, the cake <laughs> was revealing. It was just collarbone. This lady came uh, to her, and she pulled her to the side, and she was correcting her. I guess, I guess, consider correcting her. So I don't know what's going on. I don't, I don't know if this. I think this this lady just. I don't know who she is. So <laughs> I don't know if she thought I was a boyfriend. I don't know what it was, and I think my wife told me later so it wouldn't have mattered if you were her, if she knew you was my husband. She was going to say, what she, "The lady told me she says she said, please, sir, I'm not addressing you. I'm talking to my sister." <laughs> so I was like, "What?" <laughs> but <laughs> a, a lot of things are, are, are put in place for safety measures for women, and they don't understand. They don't understand that, like I said, there's a miseducation of masculine nature. So they don't understand that men know how other men think. They know that it's going to attract some unwanted attention. It's going to attract people approaching you. It's going to do certain things. So it's not really about somebody trying to have you bound up. It's about somebody trying to protect yeah. you because you don't know. That dude, right. You don't know what that dude is thinking. He could be like, I'm going to wait behind the Cadillac or wait behind the car and just jump out and yeah, now I got you. Yeah, exactly. You know, now you, now you, now you haul tied and duct taped and threw in the Scooby Doo van. You don't know yeah, exactly how these dudes be processing stuff, and so it's just like, look, you have to be conscious and cognitive of that the fact that that um, like you said, some of these dudes' inhibitions is on their sleeve. You know what yeah. I'm saying? A lot, of, do you, a, lot, a lot of people don't care, man. <laughs> they don't, don't care. Do you do you they remember take it as a green light? Right. Do do you remember? Because I I know some dudes and got confused. Man, I was in the military with this guy. I'm not going to call his name. But he was in Korea. And, you know, what 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 Leon Phelps called Asia freaky freaky sex man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> there are certain parts of East Asia <laughs> yeah. that, you know, 
they like they they have like certain hotels, certain rooms yeah. that that if you pay for that room, the kind you rent for the hour that comes with the, comes with somebody. Is it, somebody it comes with somebody. Room, yes. on you. it comes yeah. with somebody in there with you know, and and sometimes you can't get out of those rooms unless you pay the tab. Like, nah, you got to pay yeah. us and her. Because the, yeah. the hotel got her on staff. You didn't know she was on staff. Mm-hmm. She on staff. Yeah, you know she came with part of the turn down service. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm saying that. Yeah. <laughs> see, but see, the thing about it is, the thing about our people is that our people are, you know, we never really, most of us have never really been anywhere. So we don't actually mm-hmm. know, like, the world actually operates different. But anyway, Mm-hmm. So you take one of these guys who've never been anywhere, and he gets into the military, and he basically starts frequenting his bar in South Korea, and in his bar because they do it in they do it in the UAE too, but in in this yeah. bar, you had one of those special workers. I'm just saying, like yeah, that, they right? call them they call them juicy girls, right? <laughs> yeah, I remember. Yeah, so anywho, so you know. He goes up to her, and he's never. Can you go out and take pictures? Okay. Where you going? Hmm? Oh. But anywho, <clears throat> so you have you have you have this. Uh, so you have this guy who isn't isn't the most handsome fella. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you you have this guy that doesn't know anything. Uh, shoot. God dang it. But anyway, I, I have another minute. He doesn't know anything about um, female nature. So he doesn't know this girl is actually, he thinks she's just being nice and talking to him. He don't know that she's actually propositioning him. You know what I'm saying? She on the hour. She on the, <laughs> clock. She on, she on the clock. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So um, he basically, you know, she she ends up getting him to take her home or whatever and she she charges him he didn't he didn't mind because he he had his uh toes thrown to grab the covers back hairs don't stood up <laughs> you know so he didn't mind being propositioned at the time um so he goes back in the bar she's in there again she comes up to him she's like oh it seems it appears that i'm gonna have me a regular john this is how she <laughs> she's how she does it to him so he's telling me this story like man i had this girl and he's talking about this girl in south korea like she's an actual girlfriend, mm. you know, and he's like, man, I had this girl, man. She was nice. She was sweet. He said, I, I, I found out later. He said, I found out later that she was a, a special worker. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, so, um, um, be careful, baby. Love you. Um, so. Um, anyway, so I'm, I'm listening to him tell me this, this fable (laughs) and I'm like, (laughs) does he realize like, you know, he didn't, he he didn't realize it at all. You know what I'm saying? He didn't, he didn't realize it at all. And, uh, what was I going with that? I got lost my train of thought, but anywho, (laughs) anyway, (laughs) but in, in in certain parts of the world, they have a, they know where to find them, who they are, and all that. Over here now, the lines are becoming so blurred that you. I've heard women talking about, "I'm a Christian, I'm a child of God," and I, I promise you, you'd have thought she was on what the what what what, what the show was on HBO A Ray New York after what is it New York Taxi, a uh, Taxi Cab Confession, oh, 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 Taxi Cab Confessions, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hold on for a second, Dosh. Okay. My wife went to work. I had to. <clears throat> but anywho, okay. um, so yeah, so <laughs> you you can't tell a lot of times when you walk up to the women now. Because they're indistinguishable from one another, you know what I'm saying. And so, like I said, they 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 keep telling these women, okay, dress like this, dress like this, dress like this. 
you know, this is how you're going to get attention. But at the end of the day, like dudes, dudes are going to use you. They are. Men are going to, if you give men access to your body, they're going to take it. Should they? No. But they are going to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And at the end of the day, they're not going to marry you. And the end goal for a woman should be to marry. Like, do you, women don't realize the psychological baggage that they carry after they've been with like, be with three dudes. You ain't got to be with 10, be with three. I've seen, I knew a girl that was with one, messed her all the way up, though. So she was jacked yeah. up. You know, it takes one. It don't take but one. She was jacked <laughs> all the way up. All the way up. It's the right one or the wrong one. Yeah. <laughs> so you getting changed, you're going to get affected either way. Right. You're going to get affected either way. So, um, I think the world and uh, modern society has really jacked up their expectations about life. Like you got guys on here named Bo got a guy named Boys Why? Because I did a video about boys. Boys was telling men that they should be willing to take on women that have children, right? If they love the black community. Now, here's my problem with that, and I and I and I address this, huh? Not good. Now, here's my problem with that. And actually, I had a conversation with my mama about this yesterday. Um, the problem with that is, is that it doesn't put accountability back on the person who needs to be accountable. All right. If if a woman hasn't been married, and really you, a divorce should rarely happen, you know, but because people people divorce nowadays for the wrong reason, you know, what I'm saying. Um. But if a woman hasn't been married, husband hasn't killed, been, been killed or died or something in, 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 crazy happened in Dojin, you you need to be really questioning like what was going on with that. You know what I'm saying? And secondly, like I said, it puts the burden of, of, of responsibility back on the men, right? And it gives women a false sense of a false expectation to say that, OK, all men should. No, you have to understand that you were not supposed to come with children already. You were supposed to come basically just you and yourself. And then the other thing is you're giving your way your this is a problem. You're giving away your 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 youth and your best valuable years to someone. And then when you're getting married to a man. You want him to give you his best prime years, but you don't have nothing left for you, for him to give him. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, He's exactly. basically taking second hand. Yeah. And that sounds jacked up, but like a lot of people, a lot of a lot of women don't 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 think that's jacked up or think it's not fair. Mm -hmm. so like it, it, mm -hmm. the, the same can be said if the argument was flipped. I was like, why would I take you? Now, at the end, everything everything that was good and golden about you is on the decline. Mm -hmm. And let's say, mm -hmm. you, let's say that you, you was one of the women that, that, that kept itself right, is in shape and everything, and everything is working right and stuff. But now, just, just getting together with anyone is, is an adjustment. It's, mm -hmm. not, it's not guaranteed to, to, to work out. Let's say now you can't have children. Mm -hmm. He is forever reminded of that fact. That he can't have children with you, and he and he's taking care of the children that you already have. Mm. How fair is that? Mm, mm, mm. And don't let the children be bad or like uh, of of an age to know that like a hey, I know you ain't my dad, so I ain't listening to you, and she's not checking them. Mm -hmm. so, that 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 that'll ruin a marriage or or any type of relationship. I I know people they're like, man, I can't fool with her because her children crazy. Like I heard her story stories about what her own children do to her. I don't want no parts of that. I'm not going to open myself up to that. Right. I had a friend not too long ago. She had to leave the state, dude, because her, her, her uh, trying to help out her, her grown kid who's got kids of their own, let her back in the house. Her boyfriend came back in the house, and they was running scams and stuff with the, in the apartment complex. They were, they were, they were breaking into people's... Uh, uh, mailbox, getting credit cards, stealing their stuff, doing all types of things. And everybody knew where they lived. And so, in essence, everybody knew where she was. Mm. Stole their car. They stole their money. They, 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 she went missing. She ended up losing her job and losing her apartment and stuff. And, like, uh, I helped her out. I was like, look, this is where your car is. You need to do this. You need to do that. And then, like, she was just, like, so 
up in arms about the situation. She was making all the wrong choices and decisions. I was like, look, stop. I, I get it. It's bad. But this, this is where we are right now. You have to do this. You have to do this. You have to tell this person this. You have to tell this person that. And long story short, she ended up leaving the state because the people knew where she lived and was like sending her threats and busted out her window when she just got her car back from being stolen. It was it was impounded. She found it or whatever, called the people, made the police report, did all the things she was supposed to do. And now people the people are making threats against her and she she's a woman living by herself, going back again. Yeah, I know we all equal rights and everything, but you are a woman living by yourself in a bad situation. What are you gonna do? Right. Mm. I was like, this stuff just happened. She wasn't a bad person at all. Just trying to do stuff that you weren't supposed to do or you shouldn't have been doing. Or was that society told her daughter that, like, hey, this is cool. This is what you're supposed to do. This is where it's at. At the expense of uh, her mom and her job and her car and her livelihood. But that's the that's the that's the other thing that society is setting women up for failure too. And I, I'll get ready to bring this to a close in a minute, Alex. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's the other thing that society has set women up for failure on, and and not just women, but even the younger generation up for failure is because they have an expectation that things are supposed to happen fast, like wealth is supposed to be built mm-hmm. fast. And true right wealth now, is, generation. yeah, it's a right now. It's a McDonald's generation. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it is. They go through to my, ah, can I get the Mercedes? Can I get the house and the dog and a nice, nice wife? Everything comes with effort, man. Effort over right. time. Right. But you, that's why I said social media, I, I, to me, social media uh, is especially devastating towards women because women are, are naturally more emotional. So when you start seeing all these other people that, that, you know, have all these things and you sitting here looking at what you have you have no idea how they acquired there's there's a guy there's a youtuber well not a youtuber but uh he was a he was a a yahoo boy i don't know if you know what a yahoo boy is but basically in nigeria there are dudes that be sending these little going through using these yahoo accounts coming up with these little uh love interest scams and scamming people out their money so they call them yahoo boys right there's this guy this man, his name, his name was Hush Puppy. That's that's what the ninja name was. Bro. Okay. Um, you can't make it up. Those his name. I call him. I, I pick at him. <laughs> oh wow. I pick it. I pick at him. I call him Hush Puppy. I'm like, oh Hush Puppy. Oh man. Like my wife. Because my wife is she's you know she has a a big following on um, Instagram. She's on Instagram, Snapchat, and all that other stuff. And so she was telling me about, oh baby, you should see what Hush Puppy got. Ah uh, baby, do you? You know, and, and I was like, okay, you know, you know, who is this guy? So I look, I'm looking into him and every other picture that he has, every picture that he has, it has a picture of a Bentley, Rolls Royce. He's on a, 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 an ex, a private jet. And I'm, I'm, I'm saying this stuff for a point. He's on a private jet. He's driving Ferraris. He's staying in luxury hotels. He's doing all of this stuff, right? He had been doing it for like three or four years. So mm-hmm. what it did psychologically, so you're talking about, you know, a country that I'm not going to say is adverse poverty, but they're in poverty because they have a failed government, point blank mm-hmm. period. So you're talking about the youth that is coming up, feeling for a better life. They're seeing this guy on social media and they want to be like him, right? Not knowing how he's acquired his wealth. And, and then you had legitimate celebrities start asking him, hey, man, how did you get your wealth? And he would never, he would just say, well, I had real estate investments. But you know, just like I know, with anything, there should be a portfolio behind it, right? Hey, there's, there's, there's so, ways to see. <laughs> like, right. how do you do it? <laughs> right. If you tell me you're an artist, I'm going to ask you for your portfolio. Oh, show me some of your work. That should be the next question. But he just said he was having real estate deals. So, and they start seeing him with celebrities and all that, but people don't realize how the human mind works. The human mind works as you're popular, you're a celebrity. It don't matter if you have done anything rich and famous. If you're popular, you're a celebrity, right? So kind of find out those. And this young man was the top scammer in like all of scandom, they Ray. So <laughs> this, this young man wow. pulled off a bit Bernie Madoff style heist. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, wow. He was tapping into like basically what he was doing 
was he was he was um sending like counterfeit like emails to people about let's just say you had like a mortgage right and your mortgage was mm-hmm. with chase bank and they have a chase will have you know chase have links that you can send stuff to or you have an account that you can pay through right so he would have almost an identical but it would be like one thing different that he would yeah. send to these customers and it was send they were sending money to him so these people think they're buying houses and cars and stuff but they actually just sending money to a scammer right into his account yeah Right. So then the, when the um when the um the COVID situation happened, this young man was like, It's fine, it's time to go for the big score. So he decided <laughs> this is the way he messed up at. Because you're doing that to individuals, that's bad. Where he messed up at is that he tried to do it to the US government. And um, one thing one thing about Nigerians that they don't realize, and I have to I have to explain this stuff to my wife a lot. Is that well? She knows now. She'll tell you now that America tracks everything, <laughs> everything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There ain't not one transaction you can make that America ain't gonna be. Look, it, it's called an algorithm, and basically, yeah. like if you click on something, like I was looking at um, for for the for the uh, the AMG, I was looking at uh, custom steering wheels, right? Because I want to change out the steering wheel. So <clears throat> I can almost guarantee you. The next time I cut on my phone, I'm going to get all these advertisements about wheels, yep. steering wheels, all of these other stuff, because that's how, that stuff is tracked that way. And this young man decided to rob the PPP fund that was due for unemployment people. So people were supposed to get unemployment wow. benefits. This young man hit him up for like four hundred and some million dollars. Oh, wow. Like it was it was it was crazy. So he was in Dubai doing all this stuff. Now, the, the only thing that he may get off with is Dubai and the United States doesn't have an extra, extradition treaty. So I'm pretty the, sure somebody was going to make a trip and get him. Right. <laughs> somebody was going to get him. So, yeah. but the point, of, the point of the matter was this, and, uh, and come to find out, he was in that, I mean, he had, you know, he was stealing money from people, but the lifestyle that he was living, he didn't have a private jet. You know. know what I'm saying? So he living all, all his other stuff. Is fake. It's fake. So you got it's all these like, people. Uh, uh, Go ahead. Go ahead. As, oh, it's just like a little studio game. Everybody, think, when they make music videos, ain't a thing like they used to be. Right. Back in the day, they be out there living lavish, living large and stuff. That stuff ain't there. That, ain't, that, that is a video. That is, that is make-believe. That's like actors. Like You really think Guardians of the Galaxy is really going on? Same thing with these music videos. They ain't got all these women. They ain't got all these parties and whatnot. Now that's right. like the culture now is, is getting to where like that's that's what they think it is. So like mm-hmm. it's, it's glamorized and popularized. Like we watch all these little shows. I don't too much care for them. I don't really like the street drama stuff. It's like I don't like I, mean, eh, I ain't trying to do nothing illegal just to live like that and stuff. That really that's never really appealed to me. That gang lifestyle, that street life, I ain't with that. And like I've right. moved entirely too many times in my life to like I'm not gonna rent no city or no state and be like next year be somewhere completely different. So I was like, eh, is that, that ain't for me. Right. And whatnot. And they're like, I got a friend, another friend, her son, is ha- had everything going for him to do was like he was a handsome dude. He was smart. He was uh playing sports. He was getting scholarships. People was coming to look at him and whatnot. But because he's seeing all these music videos and seeing all these little like like uh what they call what they call it, social media influencers and whatnot, doing right. this stuff and being here and doing that, and now they're celebrities, they're internet famous and whatnot. He wanted to do that, but like mm-hmm. you ain't you ain't the way they are. You ain't doing what they doing. So he goes the street method and mess around and because he's not a a career criminal. Gets caught. Mm-hmm. Now this dude is sitting in jail at like nineteen, if not younger, and stuff. Been to basically watch his best years like behind bars. Because he's seen mm-hmm. stuff that look cool to him and stuff, and that's the society of it. And like he, this dude is so far gone that like you could talk to him and tell him what's up, and he'll be with it, and he'll go back into the. He'll, he, he, he's on the way to being institutionalized. He'll go back there and talk to his little uh, his little cellmates and his little bunk buddies and whatnot, and they'll tell him some stuff, and then push him farther toward the edge of no, point of no return and whatnot. And then like you'll talk to him again, and he's got a totally different mindset. Last week, he was talking about, you know what? I messed up. I need to do this. I need to make it right. Talk to him this week, and it's a totally different game. It's like, nah, this, this, 
this is bad. Everybody's against me. I ain't really do nothing wrong. I just did this. I was there, but I didn't do anything and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And I was like, man, mm-hmm. you, just, you just don't get it. You just don't get it, and it's, it's too late. Nah, man, and, and, and I have a nephew that's like that. That was He told, man, I mean, this dude sat down, Alex. I was providing for him, Dojan. Listen to yeah. what I'm saying. I was providing for him, right? He sat down and told me, y'all just don't know how I am. Y'all think I'm something else, but this is who I am. I said, boy, if you don't be quiet, first of all, you've never lived in a situation to where you had to be that guy. Like you've never been in a situation to where you absolutely have had to rob, steal, and kill to get by. You know what I'm saying? So you're on here. You're there's. I told him, I said, there's guys out here doing this stuff for real. You play Pittman. All right. That's when that's the one that that was call itself gonna um front this 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 girl. And uh, the girl went and told her boyfriend, and the boyfriend came and seen him. Yeah, young man, when he came and seen him, he been playing P-Knuckle. <laughs> like, he was dead serious. He was like, nah. He was like, what you say about me, punk? And he slapped him like three or four times. And he was trying to, he was trying to escape from Alcatraz. He was trying to come up yeah. there where I was. I'm like, nah, man. I don't want you. I don't want your, you keep your that parent to get slapped. You keep that with you. But, um, oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's glamorized, and it's, it's, it's basically... It's, it's giving people a false, and, and, it, and it, like I said, it has a, man, the way that you tell the temperature of a society, I heard a pastor say this once, and it's so true. The way that you can tell the temperature of a society is by watching what happens with the women, because the women are designed to nurture and give birth. So whatever you give to a woman, she will nurture it and she will birth it. So when you start seeing all these things to where it's just like the women have no decency about themselves. It's like basically they have no problem with going with indecent proposals. When you start seeing yeah. things like that, yeah. because if a, if a man say, hey, I will fly you to Miami for a weekend, I'm just trying to get into that cat. And she has no problem with it just to be on a oh. yacht for about two days. <laughs> I know, right? Just be in some water and on a boat and then have to go back to, to, to the world on Monday. Right. <laughs> they think they came up. They think they came up. And when you when you see things like that, when you when you see things like that, Alex, um it it, it makes you just like look and be like, you know what, man? Um you know, it, it, it makes you shake your head, huh? Yeah, I I shake my head all the time. I'm like, man, you don't need no start. Yeah. It's, 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 sad, sad. it's sad because, like, eventually we gonna be too old to do anything for ourselves. Mm-hmm. If you ain't had like children already and and showed them the way and maintained a good and healthy uh, relationship with them, you are gonna be dependent upon these little knuckleheads to take care of you. Right. I done heard many a horror story. I'm like, man, bad business. Mm-hmm. Bad juju. So I, I pick at my dad. It's like you better get in shape and get right. <laughs> mm. You don't want you don't want to be sitting in no home with like some bored kid like on social media trying to figure out how he could get his next come up, mm-hmm. practicing the latest latest dance moves and whatnot. While you're supposed to be checking on you when you're bedridden because you're old and can't take care of yourself no more. Right. Right. Man. It's, it's, it's crazy, man. That's, that's, that's why I try to do the things that I do, man. I like, I got that reach one, teach one mentality. I'm all, I try to be an open door for all the young people that I come across, and even all the old people that I come across. I was like, you ain't ever too old to learn something. Just mm-hmm. because you've been doing it this way for so long don't mean that your way is the best way to do it or even the most efficient way for your situation. Right. And be advice. It's like, you can take it or leave it. Like, it, it, I'm not in 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 what you do and what you don't do don't don't too much affect me unless I allow mm-hmm. it to. So it's free. It's That's that, the best type of advice you can get. It's that whole in my, this way I said what you drink don't make me piss. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, but yeah, man. Um, appreciate the discussion. I'm gonna bring this thing to a close because I I'm gonna go ahead and try to rest for a little bit. But I appreciate you coming through, Alice, and has having this old rousing no discussion. <laughs> nah, you no know. Problem. 
Um, so uh, thank y'all for joining us. All who joined us, stop by. Um, please like and subscribe. And God bless. I'll talk to you later, Alex. All right, man. You be. All right, you too.